back of the rotor, we're gonna go ahead and use the dials again to cut deeper into the rotor to the specification we want. I think I put it about six clicks in. As you can see, there's lines on the dials, and that's a click every single dial. And then after you're done doing that, you'll press that button up there, and it'll automatically move its way to, towards the outer edge of the rotor, cutting it along the way. And this is what the finished result looks like. Not very shiny, not very smooth. Usually it takes two to three, four, five passes to get it shiny and smooth, as I'll show you. These were the front rotors I did. Much better, and they look great. They're nice and smooth and shiny and reflective. Anyways, for the last clip here, I'm going to show you guys what happened to the caliper. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you stayed throughout it, thank you. Go ahead and consider liking and following. It means a lot to me. And I'll catch you guys on day five. So.